Well, this Saturday marks the official start of fall, and with the season change, many Minnesotans start to see an uptick in seasonal allergies. Many different types of allergens peak in the fall, such as pollen, hay fever, ragweed, and mold. The warm weather during the day and the lingering humidity during the night contribute to the peak. The windy days that we get, kind of the variations in weather pattern where it'll be cool for a few days, then warm up pretty abruptly. That really triggers mold spores to be dispersed throughout the environment. It's also a tough season because dust mites seem to peak this time of year. When we spend a little more time indoors and the humidity levels are pretty high, it really seems to make dust mite levels climb. There are some things you can do to help prevent and control allergy symptoms, such as using a nasal spray, antihistamines, and asthma medications. Doctors also recommend keeping humidity levels in your home low, below 50 to 60 percent, to help decrease mold spores and dust mites. Most pollens will persist until we get a few good freezes, and once it freezes over a few times, that'll decrease pollen growth. People around here get a lot more continued exposure with activities like hunting and four-wheeling and being out in those weeds continues to expose us to it. The most common cause of fall allergies for Minnesotans is ragweed, which usually stops producing its allergy-causing pollen by mid-November. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.